Thank you very much uh, for the invitation, Val, and uh, greetings to everybody uh, this afternoon. Um, I want to preface my response with a couple of issues uh, that relate to South Africa as a, as a country. In the past, we used to have a thriving local textile economy. We used to have people who were able to produce uh, textile, and we also had lots of people who were sewing clothes in the Western Cape in an area called Salt River. Things changed along the way. Um, secondly, right now, the contribution of uh, fashion sector to our GDP is standing at 8%. And um, that translates to 3% of the GDP generally. The third issue that I'd like to mention is that most of the people that are involved in the fashion sector in South Africa are people that are informal. So in other words, even the 3% that I'm talking about does not necessarily account to all the people that are involved in fashion uh, sector. Um, and thirdly, most of the people that are involved in the sector are employing people 100% uh, of the time. In other words, they are employed full time. They are not seasonal workers. Um, the other thing that I'd like to mention is that because of the ailing economy and also the effect of COVID, we all know that COVID meant some of the businesses had to close. So um, our government has decided that it's going to help people that are in this sector. The program is called Clothing and Textile Competitive uh, Program. Uh, there are criteria that are supposed to be complied with for people to be able to access this fund. And because of that, some of the people do not qualify and others um, who are unaware have not yet accessed it. The big thing that is affecting us as a country is that we now have imports from the Far East, from countries like China, Pakistan, uh, where people prefer to buy those clothes because they are cheaper. Uh, obviously, if the majority of people in your country are poor, they're going to prefer to get clothes that they can afford. So even though we have clothes that are high-end, good quality, but we are not able to break through and buy as it should be because people cannot afford those expensive clothes. The other big thing that is affecting us as an African country, because we are at the right south end tip of the continent, is dumping of clothes. And I also had Mr. Francesco Di Leo, who made a presentation just a few minutes ago mentioning that there is 20% of clothes that are not used. I think some of them end up in countries like ours. And obviously because of that, as well as old clothes that are dumped in our country, our economy is not able to grow in respect of the fashion sector. So those are the big challenges that we have. But I can safely say at the moment, um, the South African clothing and textile sector contributes around 8%, 8 to 10% of our GDP. Um, I will stop here for now. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> just another question. Uh, qual è il ruolo della moda in termini di inclusione nel Sud Africa? What role does fashion sector um, play in terms of inclusion in South Africa? Um, thank you for, for the question. South Africa having the majority of its population as Africans, we are very conscious of our heritage. And uh, therefore, since um, the days of the struggle, most of the Africans are embracing anything that is African. So although we were closed off, uh, but we had lots of people, especially from West Africa, who were staying in our countries where we used to have what we called homelands and self-governing um, um, states within, within South Africa. So 
most of the people that came from Ghana, Nigeria, and all those places, they were coming with their own fabrics to sew clothes. So the influence of the African fashion has been with us for, for quite a while. We also have our own fabrics as Africans, the Shue Shue, Kosa fabric, which is also influencing other African countries. Um, so it's a two-way uh, inclusion process, if you like. The, the other thing is that um, we have a millennium who are also embracing their Africanness. And as such, they prefer to don clothes that have a little bit of African fabrics. For instance, uh, during marriages, you'd find that people would sew white African, um, white, okay, uh, wedding clothes which have Afri African fabrics. Um, so we, we do have um, lots of African um, influence within our country, and we also know that we are able to export the fabrics that we produce in South Africa to other parts of the world, especially where we have um, African diaspora. The, the other thing that I would like to mention is that we also export, as a country, lots of material that is used in fashion. Um, I, if I'm not mistaken, we have one of the best mohairs uh, that is used in the, in the fashion industry. We also have wool. We also have cotton. Yes, cotton may be uh, produced in a, a GMO fashion, but we also do export that. So in short, there is a lot of influence within the, within the, um, the country of other African um, uh, fashion designers. Uh, but we also influence them. For instance, we do participate in other fashion um, expos in other countries. Nigeria, for one, Ghana. Every time when they have uh, a fashion expos, they do invite us. Uh, in South Africa, I'm sure lots of you here know about the South, South Africa Week, uh, where a lot of uh, fashion designers come to display their products in South Africa. So we do influence each other. Thank you. Thank you very much.